Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be showing you how to install the new iOS 14 public beta on your iPhone or iPad. At this year's WWDC in June, Apple announced significant changes to its latest operating system, iOS 13, with the introduction of iOS 14 and also iPadOS 14, although fewer changes are made on these as it's still quite a new operating system. In this new update, the most talked about feature to the iPhone is widgets. Now this is already something that's been on Android devices for a long time now, but Apple has finally come to the party with this introduction. In addition to the widgets, you'll also find improvements in the app clips, CarPlay, the home screen, the app library, search and Siri, and also one of my favorite new features, the Scribble edition which ingeniously turns your handwriting into text. iOS 14 isn't scheduled to be released until later this year, but since July the 7th, you're able to get an early release version of the new iOS 14, the public beta. Before I continue, I just need to say that installing public beta can be a bit risky. You may find that apps are faulty or buggy, so it's always important that if you're going to use this public beta, that you either install it on a spare iPhone or iPad that you've got, or if you're going to put it on your main device, make sure that you do a backup of the device before you proceed. iOS 14 is compatible with everything that is compatible with iOS 13, so that's everything from the iPhone 6S upwards, and it's also compatible with the 7th generation iPod Touch. Now regarding iPad OS, it's compatible with everything up from the iPad Air 2. So as mentioned before, it's very important that you back up your device to over a computer or into the cloud. Now for myself I was backing it up to a computer here. So you just need to wait until the backup finishes and you do this for all of your devices that you're going to put on iOS 14 and when your backup finishes you'll, you can proceed. So as you can see I've got the iPhone and iPad versions, they're pretty much identical. So you just need to go on the website beta.apple.com Just doing it on the iPhone first and then the iPad. And then you get to the Apple Beta Software Program website. As you can see, the look of it's both the same on the iPhone and the iPad. And then you just need to sign in with your Apple ID, which I've done. And it gives you guide to public betas. So as you can see, just a lot of information stressing the importance of backing up before you proceed to this step and then you need to go on and enroll your device or devices so the process is exactly the same for both iPhone and iPad so you just choose and then install profile you just want to go on download profile and then this box comes up you want to allow that and then the profile is downloaded so you just need to find that profile and you do that in the settings and both in, it's in general and then if you look at the bottom of the page you'll see profile so just click on that and then we have iOS and iPadOS beta software profile beta software profile again and just Click on that and then press install. And you want to install your profile, yes. And you will need to restart your device. So once you've restarted, back into the settings again. And then if you scroll down to profile, you see that the profile is now in there. So you just click on the profile. And then if you go into software update, you'll find the new update for iOS 14 will appear. As you can see, I already have iOS 14 on these devices, so I don't need to, to do anything. And there you go, you'll get iOS 14. It's brand new, feels like home. You get a great experience. All these things that are on the screen now from the Apple website. 
I've been using the beta version since release date and I must say it's very stable and I haven't really had many issues before apart from one to do with the weather app not refreshing its own widget but when you do experience a problem like that you just go on the feedback app that you get with all public betas just to notify Apple and it may be something that they improve on or take out in a future update. Now I'm not saying that I'm not going to get any further faults in the future because they may or may not, that's the risk that I have put on myself by installing it on my main device, but so far it's been very stable and good. I like iOS 14, it's been refreshing that we've been given a little bit more freedom to make changes on the home screen and with the other minor improvements that have been made it makes for a much more user friendly experience. If you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! If you liked that last video why not watch another video like one of these two here and even subscribe to the channel down there as well. See you later, bye!